I'm Peter, and welcome to another edition of F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Lessons. An intelligence quotient, or IQ, is a total score derived from taking standardized tests that are designed to assess human intelligence. You get your IQ score by dividing your mental age, and your mental age is the one that you get from taking the tests. So you divide your mental age by your chronological age, and that's expressed in years and months. And then the resulting fraction is multiplied by 100, and you get your IQ score. Less than 5% of the population score above 125, and around 140 is considered genius. If you want to be smart and intelligent about managing your big IP infrastructure, then you would use big IQ. Big IQ centralizes management, monitoring, licensing, and analytics for your big IP infrastructure. So let's light up what big IQ can do for you or what you can do with Big IQ. Dr. Seuss would be proud. So the first one right out of the box with Big IQ is device uh, discovery and monitoring, monitoring. So being able to discover and manage all of your big IP devices, no matter where they reside, they can be in the cloud, in a data center, in, you know, leased space, um, raised floor, wherever it is. And it can be either be a hardware um, or a virtual edition. So you might have big IPs in the cloud in AWS. You might have big IPs in your private data center, your favorite data center. You might have big IPs in your colo facility. So easily being able to discover and manage and monitor uh, all of your big IP devices. And it'll do things like checking CPU and disk space and availability. Uh, you can do central software updates. And so after uh, version 10.2, you're able to load Big IP software versions um, onto the Big IQ and then manage those updates. So being able to update all of your Big IPs from a centralized location. Say you're upgrading from you know, version 11 to version 13, being able to load 13 onto Big IQ and then distributing, distributing it out. License. CEN management. So being able to manage all of the licenses that are out there. If you have multiple data centers with many big IPs, managing all of them singularly could certainly become a headache over time. But being able to centralize your uh, licensing for it, and that includes things like even in the cloud. So assigning a, a license to a cloud instance and then uh, once you don't need that cloud instance anymore, and when you bring down that virtual machine, being able to reclaim and reassign that license. You can do big IP configuration um, back, back up and restore. So just like being able to um, have the software updates have uh, various versions of Big IP loaded on your Big IQ. You could also then do your backups and restores of the various configurations that are out there and save them onto Big IQ, taking snapshots of your uh, various devices that are out there and also managing maybe there are some that are on different versions. Um, Big IP device cluster support. So being able to manage and monitor your clusters that are out there, including availability of uh, particular uh, individual servers within the cluster. Uh, you can also upload to F5 iHealth. If you haven't checked this out, iHealth is pretty cool. You're able to upload a config, your UCS uh, to iHealth, 
And then based on your configuration, your version number, among other things, it'll check your configuration and then uh, let you know such things like, oh, there might be a security vulnerability or uh, this particular thing is going on with your config and might be fixed with this specific hotfix. So iHealth is actually pretty darn cool to um, uh, be able to, to get information about your big IP infrastructure. Uh, change management. Management. So this is all about being able to stage and do some testing and maybe push out some configurations to certain environments to see how they work um, and then being able to create snapshots of those configurations to either pull back, send to others, or if, for instance, um, this change didn't really work too well, pull it all back. It also includes auditing, so you know who to blame if everything comes crumbling down um, after a change management uh, situation. So being able to stage and deploy uh, configuration. So change management, I'm gonna have to go over here, running out of room. Uh, certificate management, so being able to manage and monitor all of your SSL certificates on Big IQ. So, um, all of your encryption that's happening out there. And this also allows you to plan properly. So uh, getting alerts if a certificate expiration is soon to come, like in the next month or so. So being able to renew, manage, and also get alerts when a certificate might be um, expiring. Also, you can do role-based access control, the RBOC, as, as you well know. So this is kind of interesting. So role-based access control means allowing certain people access to the big IP, but potentially not allowing to make any configuration changes. So maybe certain groups want to see the statistics and the reporting and the analytics and those sorts of things. So you can allow access to the analytics engine and the reporting and those sorts of things, but you don't necessarily allow access to things like configuration changes or creating new pools or things like that. So role-based access control. And then uh, working with the uh, AVR engine, gathering, presenting, collecting all of the stats and, anal and analytics of all of your devices um, that are out there. And then being able to you know, display the graphs and the reports and um, all the pieces that go with your statistics, analytics, monitoring, and so forth. So we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought there was 10, maybe I'm forgetting one, but um, there you go. Uh, a number of things, almost 10, maybe there is 10 and I just miscounted, uh, things that you can do with Big IQ to help to centrally manage monitor your big IP infrastructure, including things like licensing and analytics. Big IQ. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And I'm Peter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the community.